Well, you actually had your first child when you were 17. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and you got married. Yeah, I got married, say, 30 days. <laughs> 30 days. Yeah, short marriage. Okay. But then something happened to your child. Yeah, well, well what happened to, uh, well, no. They're not having the child. My daughter got killed, you know, working in San Francisco. Yeah, that that was the girl. Yeah, she she uh, got killed working. Uh, she was the waitress at a place called TikTok in uh, San Francisco, and her okay. boyfriend, her boyfriend killed her. So your boyfriend killed your first daughter. Yeah, yeah, her boyfriend killed her. Mm-hmm. Her, her her boyfriend. Yeah, sorry, that's what I meant. Okay, how did you react to that? Well, you know, uh, uh, it, it was pretty bad. You don't react, to, you know, but. Uh, he went to the, uh, he went to the penitentiary and, um, you know, they figured if, if something had happened to him, they would blame me for it, so I just stayed out of it. I, I let the authorities handle it. Okay, so then you moved to San Francisco, I guess, uh, yeah. to stay with your sister? Yeah, yeah, my sister Thelma. Yeah, I moved okay. to San Francisco and uh, I went to law. They treated me where I could be a B.I.B. student, so I went to Lowe High. What was Fillmore, Fillmore, Fillmore Street like back then? Fillmore Street was the street. You know, everything was going on on Fillmore Street. You had the Blue Mirror, you know, you had the Mount Plaza, you had the Premalon Ballroom, you know. I just shoot, I just shoot pool with different celebrities on Fillmore Street, you know. I worked in the pool hall called Trees Pool Hall, and I seen all the celebrities. Come in the Mount Plaza, you know, all the entertainers, the Booker T, you know. Okay, and was there actual pimps and, and hoes on, on Fillmore at that time? Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Fillmore Street was street, you know. You had all the clubs up down the Chicken and Go Go, you know, they had the Alabama Club on Post Street, Bob City on Post Street, the Jazz Club, and Jack's on Sutter, you know, and uh, that's, you know, during that time, you know, um, Fillmore was was the place. My sister would always tell me, don't never go on Fillmore Street. You can go anywhere you want to, but stay on Fillmore Street. So that that rang the bell in me. I said, I gotta see what's happening on Fillmore Street. So I went on Fillmore Street and I got a job. I was working in the pool hall, racking pools, you know, and I seen all the sharks play and all that stuff. So I was walking down the street one day and I looked up at the sign, they was calling me Slim. I looked up at the sign and seen Filmo. I said, so I put Filmo on my name. I said, well, I named myself Filmo Slim. And that's how that name came about. So uh, what year was this? Oh, that was in uh, 1950. Describe to me how you first got into pimping. Okay. Well, like I said, I was with Fulbright, right? And uh, he took us to a little town called Midland, Texas. We was on the road, right? And I was on the road, I'm playing the blues, I'm playing guitar, right? So uh, this chick, right, she, uh, you know, down there where you set up your own bottle, you know, the, all you do is get your ice, you bring your own alcohol. So this chick would sit right in front of me, and I'm singing the blues, right? And uh, every, every, every night, she would sit right there, she had her favorite spot watching me. And after about three, four nights, she came up and gave me this money. I'm sitting on the piano. I said, well, what's this for? She said, I want you to have it. I said, why? She said, because I like you. I said, well, why you want to give me this money? I don't know about the game. I said, she said because I want you to have it. I said, what you do? She said, I go to bed uh, with men for money. I said, well, what is that? She said, dates. I said, what you mean dates? You know, I don't know the matter. So then she gave me this money, right? And then she, um, in about a week, after that, we got ready to leave, uh, go back to Los Angeles because it was a hotel right next to this club and it was called the White Front. It was in Midland, Texas. So we got ready to leave to go back to LA. You know, uh, she had her suitcases packed. She said, uh, I said, what's up? She said, I'm going with you. I said, what's your family going to say? She said, I'm a grown woman. I can go where I want to go. So I said, okay, so the fellas in the band say, well, man, She's a prostitute, man. We ain't taking her back to California, you know. Now, I ain't making but $10 a night. We ain't getting but $10 a night for each musician, right? So now she done gave me this money. 
I look at it, I got almost a hundred dollars now. This is fifty-five. Okay, now. So um so I said, well, I'm gonna take her back with me. This is a man. We can't take her back. I said, well, this is my van. I'm going to take her back. It's my vehicle. If y'all don't want to go back with us, y'all catch the bus. So we all that fine agreed and went back to L.A. And I'm staying on Central Avenue in, uh, in this hotel over the top called Coney Island, right on Central. So uh, uh, so at this time, we're doing this here. So we get back there. She tell me, well, show me where you see the girls at. And right there on Central and Vernon, right there, you know, uh, where the girls were, right there in front of a record uh, place was called Dolphin of Hollywood. And they had, you know, so uh, I showed her where it was, and she went out there, and she came in, she had a little money, and then the second day she came in, she had another girl with her, okay? So she, I said, who is this? She said, this is, my wife-in-law. I said, wife-in-law? I said, what is that? She said, she's with us. I said, she's with us? So now, she said, yeah, she, she's working for us, so now I'm too deep, okay? So when I get too deep, you know, I'm playing the blues all around Los Angeles, so when I get too deep, I'll push the guitar in the corner and buy me a used Cadillac and go to the pawn shop and get me a used diamond ring and get me a hat and a pair of slits out of shoes, and the rest was history. So now you're an actual pimp with two girls. Two girls, yeah. But you don't have any experience in actually pimping. It's not like you had an older pimp that came oh, through no, and I gave you all the game. No experience. No, no experience. But what I'm doing, I'm still playing music, see? I'm playing at a club called the, uh, uh, the Elbow Bend, you know, down there by Wrigley Field down there in Los Angeles. And, uh, and what happened is I put the girls to work, okay? And uh, when I, and this Cadillac driver, you don't understand me, and they got my girls in the car. They said, who's Phil on Slim? I said, that's me. They said, these ain't your girls no more. They with me now. I said, what? They with you? He said, yeah. He said, young blood, he said, we gonna teach you the game. This how it goes, you know? They gave me your money, so they with me. So I said, okay, so now, I get wise to that, so what I start doing, when I would take a break, I'm still playing music, but what I would start doing, on break time, I would go out there and take all the money from my girls and go back to work. So see, if they didn't have no money, they couldn't catch them. So I learned. Aha. Uh -huh. The hard 